doing today. Good to hear those recommendations there to stay safe in the elements. A quiet breeze today, though, so when you step outside, you will notice the wind chill not going to be quite as big of a factor. Winds coming in out of the northeast around five to seven miles an hour. I am watching the chance for a few snow showers that could impact your afternoon and evening commute. They are very much on the scattered side here on First Alert Doppler, showing you just a few isolated flurries at this point in the early afternoon. Noticing a few snow showers to the north of Monroe, Michigan. Again, nothing heavy or widespread, but still a few snow flurries fluttering from the sky. Hourly forecast shows you the best chance for snow today. Well, that is going to be to the south of Toledo. So let's say BG and Wood County all the way down through Finley on off to Ottawa. Uh, best chance for some light snow into the afternoon. Folks out towards Tiffin, Bucyrus, Upper Sandusky could pick out a few snow showers as well. Snow should taper off by about 8 to 9 o'clock p.m. Maybe the chance for a light dusting of accumulation, but nothing real widespread or heavy whatsoever. And folks in Toledo and Lucas County probably going to stay dry other than the exception of a stray flurry. Advancing the clock into your Thursday, the chill continues. It is going to be another cool day, mostly cloudy skies. You will notice, especially by the afternoon, cloud cover is starting to thicken up a little bit. So another gray and gloomy day. Best chance to see some sunshine tomorrow. That's going to come in the morning hours because by the afternoon, all this gray shows you, well, another cold and overcast one. The breeze should be fairly calm tomorrow, though, so again, the wind chill not too big of a factor. Next chance for any sort of widespread snowfall. Well, look, look at our first alert weekend forecast. Saturday, snow is looking likely. A few of those snow flurries could continue into Valentine's Day. Again, first alert days for both of those. Turning breezy on Sunday, it is going to be windy and cold. This could be the chilliest one we've had in this stretch of weather. Temperatures only making it into the mid-teens. I want to give you a first look at when that snowfall could arrive. Starting to see some snow showers here Saturday morning. Of course, the timing on this is subject to change just a little bit, but this is 8 o'clock on Saturday. Snow moving in out of the west, and this one looks to be a little more widespread. Accumulations not necessarily going to be a ton, but still could certainly see a dusting to maybe a couple inches of snow. Again, moving from west to east, snow showers should taper off by Saturday night and Sunday. Boy, is it going to feel chilly behind that weather system. Right now, chilly for sure, 17 degrees in Toledo. It is 18 in Finley. I guess Napoleon, you could consider it a warm spot, 23 degrees, although certainly doesn't sound all that warm. Elmore also in the 20s and the wind chill factor. Well, not as bad today with the calmer breeze. Uh, most wind chills in the teens, a few wind chills down in the single digits. Feels like eight degrees in Defiance, feels like eight as well in Hillsdale. Hourly wind chill forecast as you're getting home from work, maybe taking kids to the after school activities. It'll feel like it's about 15 in Toledo, so certainly well shy of wind chill warnings. Nothing like that, however, still cold. I want to leave you with a little bit of bright news. I know not much sunshine today, but sunset time, 6.01 p.m. It is staying light out later, so at least a little more daylight in the evenings. Light out until 6.30 p.m. today. 10-day forecast, a chill in the air for Valentine's Day weekend. Getting even colder into next week with some sub-zero temperatures. The light at the end of the tunnel. We don't quite make it to freezing, Amanda, but getting closer.